a very strong lineup both ways. David Luiz in to the back three for Chelsea here. Fabregas and Kante, who struggled in the earth, a couple of exciting youngsters on this tour already, but in the main, Spalletti goes with experience here. Daniela Pedelli has arrived from Torino. And underway here in the National Stadium. Played forward by Skriniar, and it's uh, Chelsea opened up all too easily. Kandreva's in here, deflection on it, and Courtois had to react very sharply. He might do again here. Desperate stuff here for Chelsea. Marcus Alonso helping out there, but very, very surprising considering all of these players played last year. And it's Alonso. Look at his recovery run again, Alonso. Kandreva comes inside, and David Luiz does remarkably well. I think it's Kayla who gets the block eventually. But it's really, really poor. Weist as well. Courtois, to be fair to him, scrambles it with a good hand. Cahill's head. Kandreva again. Gagliardini joining in. Hits this one. And pretty much like the one a moment. Into the space it goes for Batshuayi. Nice again from Batshuayi in the build-up. For it for Chelsea. David Luiz went for it, as he always seems to. Now this referee has got... Here's Willian. Deflection on it, and onto the top of the net. Sharp restart by Chelsea, good work. Well, into Manan now, riding the look a little bit. Pedelli trying to marshal the troops in front of him. It's weak, Bojovic comes inside. Miranda comes out, deflection. Let it flow at the right times. David Luiz. Pedelli doing his very best to look unconcerned there, the goalkeeper. I think he clearly thinks it was very, very close, his usual technique. Gets all sorts of movement on it, doesn't he? And I don't think Pedelli was going to be getting that one. He found its way inside the post. The options, but Shoy didn't particularly make it a good move. Oh, Pedelli almost blotted his copybook big time there. But yet again, it's been a feature this half, hasn't it? This is Padelli. Could he have maybe done it first time? It is bouncing. He's very fortunate. Just dribbles past the post under huge pressure again. David Luis got caught out a little bit. It's a good run by Jovetic, and it's a penalty to enter. It's been conceded by Aspilicueta. Of David Luis inside. Aspilicueta tracks him. Takes on his chest really well. I think he gets the ball from that angle. I really do. I'd love to see it from a different angle, but I think he connects with it. This could well, well be the one. Lovely weight of pass. Jovetic takes it. And he clearly gets the ball. What was interesting as well, Keith, is that Gary Cahill, the Chelsea captain, I think went over to the referee and said, maybe you want to go and have another look at that or talk to the fourth official. Well, the fourth official... Courtois gets down to it first time, but surely Inter will run it home, and they do, and they lead here. He breathes again, and Inter, in stoppage time in the first half, have gone in front. Well, just as you felt, it may well have been a little bit of justice. The Courtois saving it. It's a good save, it's a poor penalty, it has to be said. He backs up really well. Chelsea players quite slow to react to the penalty. Look how could many it... Inter players were going for that, Keith, the rebound. Yeah, two or three could have got it, couldn't they? It's Gagliardini. And certainly Perisic was in and around it as well. The Jovetic is the one that gets there first. And he's a lucky boy because that was a poor penalty. I'm staying and I'm going to help Inter build a better, brighter future themselves into trouble right from the restart Brozovic it's 2-0 it's turned in by Jovetic what a, or is it going to be offside the goal is ruled out oh Jovetic says it it's calamitous defending gaps again certainly wasn't no Keith I'm sorry that should stand Perisic was onside now the ref the assistant may have been slightly blinded by the player running forward from deeper but no way that goal should be ruled out I'm sorry all along the ground it comes, no problem at all. 
first time and then a swing by Batshuayi it's a great win back by Fabregas Batshuayi misses the target well it's into my hands time to get away one Kondreva gives a very sloppy ball away here Gagliardini a little bit flat footed but Fabregas reads it well nicks in and Batshuayi it's a great opportunity he has to score from something with him Jovetic hits it the ball back in this game, Kandreva Chelsea about to make a change as Inter come again and again Chelsea expose Perisic goes for it and this time no problem, Inter are two up well it's been end to end from both sides really open expansive counter attacking football and it's Inter Milan that have provided a little bit of quality to get on the score sheet this time Jovetic picks out the right pass as ever Perisic in that outlet and he had no qualms about coming back inside trusted his left foot and he buries it Aspilicueta can't get back such a solid player good finish solid performance good performance here by Inter again in this international Perisic driving through the middle Jan Mario's looking for him that's a perfect ball to Perisic and he returned the compliment, and somehow Courtois gets the... So unselfish, Gian Mario sets him free. The timing of the ball was beautiful. Look at his composure. Oops, inside, unselfish, lays it back. And if Gian Mario was up to speed, that will be 3-0 and game over. ...in that way. Here they come again going forward. And again it's Perisic... Fabregas with the corner for Chelsea. Kea went for it once or twice, sir. Straight at the goalkeeper in the end. The troubling signs for Chelsea ahead, in your opinion. Remembering back... That is the most extraordinary own goal I think I have ever seen in football. And Padelli could do absolutely nothing about it. Hang your head in shame. Condogbia. It was all going so well. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Mourinho has a little ball back to him. And to say he's overdone this is an understatement. Tries to pass it back to Padelli. It's way too much on it. What a finish that is. Keith, I think if he tried... Fabregas takes the corner. Cahill went for it again. Padelli happy to drop on it. Come to life, hasn't he? Kante, so important for Chelsea. Masonda, twisting and turning. Goes on and on, straight at the goalkeeper. Rear. Fabregas. Whistle's gone. It won't count, I don't think. Really get any type of... Oh, it's clearly onside. Some poor decisions that have gone against Chelsea. Definitely. Valietti had played him on. Another quick one in by Fabregas. It's over Skriniar this time and over the top of the crossbar as well. Composed in the ball. And it is all over. That was the last scare for Inter. But they have lived on a tightrope for fully 25 minutes ever since the most extraordinary own goal which turned everything in this game by Condogbia. Inter have won it, Chelsea forced the issue and honestly it should have been 2-2 because Batshuayi's goal should have stood with Chelsea dominant as they came looking to rescue it but Fideli and Inter stuck to it and got the slices of luck when they needed them Jovetic and Perisic, quality from them all the way while they were on the field and it ends, Chelsea 1, Inter 2